The only way is up. 17 places up to be exact. Welcome back guys, Son of Scotland 9. It's episode 2 of the FIFA 23 PSV career mode. On the opening day, things did not go as I had planned. I expect to challenge Ajax for the title. And losing 3-0 at home to Acer Alkmaar on the opening day isn't exactly the best way to go about that. That's why we find ourselves down in 18th place. Is it great? No. It's not great. It's not even good or bad or decent. It's awful. It's fucking awful. But what can we do? We can cry about it or we can try and put it right today. And that's what I intend to do. So I'm just going to have to try and move on. I believe we're playing Exelor first. I don't know if I am getting their name right. They're currently sitting in 15th. They lost in the opening day as well without scoring a goal. So we'll see. We will see what happens, but we need to bounce back. We need. No, we're not playing them. We're playing Fortuna. They actually won on the first day. Okay, that puts more pressure on us. So we're playing a team that actually came off with a victory. Where are they in the table? They're sitting fifth. They won three one. Who did they beat? Who did they beat? They beat. They beat RKC. Who are the fuck? Who's fuck? Who's RKC? RKC Walwick. Guys, still getting used to this PS. Still getting used to this like Dutch league and stuff like that. So. I don't exactly know all the teams. I don't know all the pronunciations. If I get them wrong, bear with me. If you feel like correcting me in the comments, then let me know how you pronounce these teams or or whatever. But for now, I'm going to focus on scoring goals. I'm going to focus on trying to win games rather than pronouncing these teams correctly. So we made a couple of changes for our second game. One forced, one was voluntarily. Boscali, Bos Boscaligli is coming in for... The um the suspender of Spina, who was obviously red carded in the opening game, and we are bringing in Gutierrez for Simmons, who I felt didn't play that well. Gutierrez is higher rated. You know what? I thought we'd give him a chance. Here we go. As for Fortuna, it shouldn't really matter who they play. If we turn up, we should win this. So let's go and do it. But to Gladon, intercepted by Junior. Let's see what we can do. Benitez and plays it out to Max. Max brings it down. Finds Gapko. Gapko then to Fearman. Fearman looking for De Jong. He's found De Jong. De Jong in a wide position. It's De Jong. Oh, he does well there. De Jong back post. It should be a goal. It's headed away. It was really close to De Jong still here. De Jong looking for something. Waiting for anybody. It's Gutierrez. Oh, double handed save by the goalkeeper. That's probably the best we've played though across the two opening matches. Lovely stuff. Created a good opportunity. Goalkeeper though. Double hand at save. Gapko will have a, a good opportunity to get across into the box. De Jong is there. He can't win the header. It's going to fall for Guti. Oh no, our two players getting each other's way. It won't really matter. Max is back to save the day. But it was a bit of a mistake there for the PSV boys. It's Fearman. Oh, Fearman trying to play through Gapko. But he was blocked off by the defender. We've won it back through Pascali. Gapko again, this time he loses it. I mean, he's a star man. I haven't really seen that much of him in the opening two games. Would have hoped to have seen a bit more. But early days, could still be getting up to scratch. Probably not in full speed yet. Hopefully when he gets there, he can start banging in the goals. Speaking of full speed, we need to get everybody back. And we do. Maduki comes inside. Who's he going to try and find? He's played it out to Max, but Max ain't there. Max tries to win it and Max concedes. A f no, he doesn't. Referee's played on here. I thought it's De Jong, Gutierrez, De Jong, Fearman, out to Gapko, Gapko, across the end, back post, Maduki's there, off the line, De Jong, and De Jong scores, but it won't count. There's a person with a flag up, I don't know if it's a lines man or a lines woman or a lines thing, I, I still don't know looking at it, but <laughs> what, is a, what a goal that would have been originally for Maduk. Unfortunately, it's just cleared off the line. De Jong with the head at rebound, and it's not enough because the flag goes up. Back to Fearman, back to Max Singari. Over to Gapko. Oh, what a pass for Gapko into Fearman. Fearman shoots, and Fearman scores, and there'll be no flag on this occasion. Fearman with the goal. PSV get their first goal of the season. It was a well worked goal, it was good play from the boys, and we are 1 0 up. The fans are celebrating in the away section. And it's a good goal, good team goal. Look at this, especially for Gabko out there, man, with that lofted ball through to Fearman. Lovely stuff, and Fearman does so well to get that in for such a tight angle. Should you be questioning the goalkeeper? Probably. 
But I don't really care about the goalkeeper. I care about our players. They've done their job. Goalkeeper hasn't done his. It's 1-0, and we celebrate on the sidelines. Gapco now is going to come and say, what can he do? He spins around. It's Gapco. He strikes it. It's took a deflection. It will be a corner here. Well, the referee may have gave... What's he gave a penalty? Has the referee gave a penalty here? It didn't look like a handball to me. Oh, I think he has. I think the referee has gave a penalty. And I... <laughs> I'll happily take this. It's gonna is it gonna be Gapco? Who is the best penalty kick taker here? They're not actually that good. The highest rate is six to eight. God damn it. Um we might let De Jong take it then or, or do we just go with Gapco? No, I think we'll let De Jong take it. The big striker. What can he do? Can he score? Can he put his 2 0 up? De Jong. Oh top binge, you ain't saving that. Right into the corner. I made the right decision to let De Jong take it. He scores, it's 2-0 PSV, and all of a sudden, we're beginning to look like title challengers. It may have took us 90 minutes in the opening game to get our acts together, but no, we're going forward. We're looking good, and we're looking good for three points. Yellow card then, and I didn't really agree with that, but St. Gary has been booked. Didn't look like that bad a challenge. Referee has given the free kick here. Fortuna will try and half the deficit just for half time. We've cleared it away, but only for a corner. So there will be another up or will there? I think the referee's had enough. The referee's blow the whistle. It's half time. So there you go. At the break, we're two 0 up. We've dominated this game. We're in control. We deserve to be leading. I think the only question is how many goals are we going to win this game by, and can we keep a clean sheet? It's looking good for three points. Looking good for the win. All we need to do is keep doing the same thing. And it will be a victory in the second game for PSV. Oh no, they're coming for Tuna. They're through the middle. Oh, and that's going to be a penalty. It's a bad challenge. We didn't get the ball. We cannot allow them to get in the box like that. Boscali's coming in today for Ospina and the or Ospispo. And he has pretty much made a mess of that there. Yep, he has. The penalty's been given. Tell you what, we've had one penalty for Tuna. We'll level up now with a penalty. But they, oh, I was going to say they won't score it. They have scored it. It's went in to the back of the net. They've half the deficit. It is now 2 1. And it's all went to shit. We're still in front. But uh, the game's just got a lot more interesting now. So we, it's a first shot as well. First shot, first goal. Keeper went the right way. Couldn't make the save. Bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, guys. Let's not throw this away. We're still in a good position. We're still winning. Still playing well from what I've seen. We we'll just need to keep it going. Oh, Gapco. That was fucking quality, man. How 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 the hell did we lose 3-0 in the first game when we've got someone like that in our team? I know it didn't lead to anything, but the, the skill and trickery there for Gapco was amazing. Ball well, out to Glaldo. It's good for him. The defender, Boscali, to Gapco. Back to Fearman. Gapko's making that run, but we ain't going to find Gapko. We're going to instead play it out to Maduke, who is coming. Oh, Gapko. Nice wee turn. Gapko saved. Oh, come on. What, what's, what's De Jong doing there? And the referee, he gave a penalty. No, he's given a free kick. Or has he? I don't know. Keepers. No, he's given a free kick. I don't know why the keeper's so pissed off then, but that's what it is. And now we could be in a bit of trouble with Doherty, he's through, Tezzi's chasing him, Tezzi couldn't make the tackle, it's played through the middle, and all of a sudden we were in control, we were turning him up, and we've just thrown it away here, what are we doing? What are we doing? Fortuna are back on level terms, two goals in about ten minutes, it's poor defending fails at the back, Ah, now we've got it all to do, Gutierrez, Sangari, back to Fearman. Fearman goes for top bins and Fearman finds top bins. What a strike that is. That is a quality goal from Fearman. What a strike, man. Keeper, absolutely no chance, man. We got pulled back to 2-2 after being 2-0 up. I was beginning to panic. I was going to think this is not our day. But Fearman had other plans and he made sure it's going to be our day. What a strike that is, man. Goalkeeper, no chance. Fearman, top bins, top corner. It's a no-look shot as well. Jesus Christ. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. And then Fearman celebrates in front of the away fans. Back in front. I think that's his second goal of the game as well. So, yeah, Fearman. What a match he's having. What a goal that was. And hopefully now we can hold it and pick up the points. 
Right, substitution time. Van Ginkel, El Ghazi, and Simmons coming on. Sangari, one of the players going off. He's on a yellow card. No point risking it with uh, 16 minutes to go. We are in the lead as well. So, I mean, it should all be about just seeing the game out by now. We have been the superior team. There's no reason for us to lose a third goal here. And if we can do that, then we will win this match. Simple as that, really. But Fortuna are coming forward. We'll make a challenge that's broken to Simmons. And this could end it if we time this to perfection. We need De Jong to make the run. And they didn't really go in a direction that we wanted. And Simmons ends up losing it from behind. Tezzy's going to come across. Tezzy doesn't get to that. Two players are going to round him again. No, it's back. Off the pole. Oh, holy shit. How's that no went in? Let's talk about fortunate, man. That was so lucky. We're not two substitutions then. Fertesa and Intel coming on. We have a corner. Don't know whether we should play it short or whip it in. It's probably a little bit too early to, to go for the short corner and waste time. So, yeah, we will be El Ghazi to deliver this ball in. Can we get a good one? Put the game to bed. Oh, it's going to fall for Tezzi. Edge of the box. Fertesa and the substitute back out to El Ghazi. El Ghazi tries to turn around, may have got another corner there, but no, it's going to stay in. And what can Navarro do for Fortuna? They're trying to break here on the counter. Ball played to Yilmaz. Good, oh, great challenge for Tezzi. Could be a game-winning challenge. But then we've lost it out. Van Ginkel. Not covering himself in glory there. But intercepted by Simmons. And this could be it now, surely. On the counter, Simmons. Looking for the, the space in the middle there. He's held it up a bit. That's good stuff. Plays it to Tell. Tell, though, this time loses it. And it's Bassetti through to Sujins. Oh, we've tried to make a chip. Oh, no, we've, we've made a mistake. Will it come back to Haunt? It's ball into the box. It's took a deflection. It's not quite away. We've got an idiot now. Oh, we've been tackled. And we've finally won it back. Max needs to clear this. Time should be done, it is done, finally. We get the win, but that was a lot trickier than it should have been there, man. We just we won the ball and for some reason just could not clear it. Eventually, though, we managed to get rid of it. We won our first game of the season. Came in game two. I wish it would have came in game one, but you know what? We, we bounced back well there. My only my only concern is we should not... Kit's glitching it there with the bat of the bib. Uh, my only concern is we should have won that game easy. And we almost drew it in the, in the dying seconds. That ain't good enough. We will need to sort that out big time. Can't be. We need to be putting these games to bed. Unfortunately, we didn't put it to bed. But we got the win. You know, dominated the match. For me, that's good. But yeah, winning 3 2, winning by the one goal, not so good. All right, so let's move into our second game then. Let's waste no time. Ever to visit match day three. It's PSV versus Exelor. We're not going to make any changes from the last game. We got our first win of the season. I don't see why we need to change anything. I'm going to give the same opportunity to Boscagli and Gutierrez. They came in. We got the wins with them in the team. So I'm going to give them an opportunity to stay in the team. As for Exelor, who have they got? Not too sure of any of their players. But they are doing a 4-4-2. Pretty classic, you know, just old... Um, you know, get to the point, 4-4-2, basic 4-4-2. Will it cause problems for us, or can we cause problems for them? Gutierrez, trying to play in De Jong, oh, what a ball! He has played him in De Jong, early on, De Jong, oh, the keeper bounces off his face. We might have another chance, Fearman, down to Gutierrez, and his header is right at the goalkeeper. Should be doing a lot better there, what an opportunity that was. De Jong gifted a chance, and he has... Basically hit it right at the goalkeeper, man. Not good enough. But Mudeki again this time. We've got De Jong in the middle. De Jong going to look for Gapko. Gapko gets the ball. He gets away from his man. He runs into the box and loses possession. Looking maybe for a leg there to be tripped or something. But a uh, good start for us. Should have took the lead. We don't have it. New X galore are coming through. Can they do anything? Can they count on here? Our first defensive position of the game and we managed to do okay. Gutierrez, Fearman. Now it's Gapko. Gapko's away. Touch wasn't the greatest, but he's kept it in. Oh, he's spun around. That's really good. Plays it into the back post, and yes! There's a header. There's a goal. I think it is Singari. I believe it is Singari. Don't know if that's Singari or not. <laughs> I think it is. It's a goal, though, anyway. Gapko. No, it's Mudeki at the back post. That makes more sense. Mudeki with the, uh, the header. Just... Pretty much unmarked, sneaked in at the back post, and it should be 
a simple finish for the run it was, but he done a good job. He put it right into the corner of the net as well, so he's the ball is always going away for the goalkeeper. Look at the, the little dive and fall he does to the ground as well. Push ups as well, man. We've got not only have we got them doing skills, but they're also doing like uh, training as well, weightlifting, training, exercise, man. Max cutting in there from this left hand side. Max looking to play the jong through. He does. It's De Jong. Oh, man, we picked out our spot, but again, it's just too close to the keeper. Shit ball to Arzakian. He's unmarked, but his pass into the box ain't exactly troubling us. And we come away with it. Good build it from the back here. Like this, this is what I like to see. Holding on to the ball well. Tezzi just launching it forward. Medeki keeps it in. Plays it to Gutierrez. De Jong. De Jong then to Singari. What can Sigari do? Sigari holding on to it still. Plays it to Fearman. Fearman goes for a finesse. He's came off a body in the box. Fearman still got it. Fearman looking for another cross. It comes off a roller player. And we're all over Excolor at the moment. It's Sigari. Oh, he loses it this time and the, the chance is gone. Oh, it's a... Oh, no, it's a... I think we've caught him with the follow-through. The keeper's made to save anyway. I don't know, it'll be interesting. I think it's that Singari. I think it may be... And uh, Ibrahim Singari's been sent off. What? Oh, man. Wasn't it the keeper make... Benitez saves it anyway. It was needless for Singari to come through the back of him. 1-0 up in control. And it looks like we might be throwing that away here. Yeah, it's one each. Singari sent off down to 10 men. This could be a long, long day now for us. I don't believe that's enough. Penalty. Referees gave it all. Uh, oh, it's another red card as well. It's Boss Gagley. Uh, that is insane. That doesn't look like a red to me. Just goes clean through him. He plays advantage. They don't score, so obviously he brings the advantage back. And Andy sends him off as well. Two red cards down to nine men. Could be two one down. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Our home stadium doesn't bring as much luck, does it? We are two one down. We are 2-1 down. We are two men down. It's not looking good. It could be back-to-back -back home defeats here to start the season. And everything was looking great. 1-0 up in control. Two red cards later, we've lost control. It's insane how quickly things have turned around here. 2-1, let's move on. I mean, I don't know what we can do. Try and maybe get to half time. And do, I don't know. We can't hold it. We've got nothing to hold on to. We're behind. We need to find a goal for somewhere. So it'll be interesting to see how we change formation. I've no idea what we're going to do. I've no idea. Oh, Gutierrez cuts inside. He does well. It's Gutierrez. Oh, and that's a great finish for Gutierrez. We're in trouble. You're, you're damn right. You better believe it. But we've called it 999, and Gutierrez has answered the phone, man. He's pulling us out of danger here, at least momentarily. Great goal. Great little run there. Great dribble. And he blasts it in. He gives us a real chance now. It's 2 2. Don't worry, it's still going to be. A minor miracle if we can win the game from here. But at least we're back on level terms now. And we do have something to hold on to. So, happy with that goal. We gave it away again. And they put it into the back of the net. It's just when we pull ourselves out of a hole, we decide to dig that hole even deeper. And jump back in it. Trailing again. 3-2 behind. We just gave the ball away, man. You, just, okay, you can't lose the ball there. Especially when you've got nine men. And they just pick out the back of the net. Should the keeper have done better? I don't know. I do not know. Could he have done better? Probably not, to be fair. It's a good finish. And it's, it's going to be another long, long way back for us. Ball played up. Maduki is going to keep this one. And we may have got a free kick here. So this will be the last play of the half. We need to try and just deliver something, hopefully. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Deliver a ball in. Try and get someone's head on it. Let's see what we can do, guys. Let's give a good ball in here. Maduki, it's not great. It's headed away again. That will probably do it. Can we get this back in? We, well, we do, but referee blows the whistle. So, 3-2 at the break. It's not 3-2 to us. We're on the receiving end of this 3-2. So, it's going to be a difficult second 45 for us. No doubt about it. If you look at the stats, you can see that, you know, it's not been a lot in it. We're probably in the better side, to be fair. We dominated the first half an hour, but... Then, yo, you know what happened, shit happened. I mean, the way we're playing at the moment, we can't really have two big holes there. We're going to change that up. We're going to bring on Espipo for 
Uh, I don't even know what we're going to do here. Um, I think we'll... What do we do? What do we do? We'll take off Medeki. And we will bring on those people there. And then the... I don't know. What do we do? Do we... Do we do that? And then play Gapco. So essentially we're playing like a 4... A 4-2-2. Two, two. Or do we go a 4? Do we maybe change, I don't know, maybe put Gapco in a, a cam roll, or do we take De Jong off, or, or, I don't know guys, what do we do here, I don't even, do we play Gapco up front on his own, or do, no, you know, we'll, we'll go for this, it doesn't give us much width, but hopefully Max and, well, we'll push Max and Junior up a little bit, and uh, I don't know, I don't know man, we're doing it, should never go doing it nine men, let's see what we can do second half, Fearman takes control of the ball, up to us, oh, Gapko I thought was through there, but he's turned his man, he's still got the ball, Gapko, using his strength, Gutierrez, flicks it to Junior, there's a chance, into De Jong, but it's intercepted at the last moment, Fearman gets jumped from behind, it's, oh, it's a great save, and it's a, we needed that to be a great save, and it is a great save, so that keeps us alive, <laughs> don't want to go 4-2 down, or else it may be a step too far for us to come back from. We've still got the ball here with Gutierrez. We've found De Jong. De Jong out to Max. We're on the counter here. This is looking pretty good for us. This is looking very good for us. Can we pick out a pass? It's Max. And oh, we try to find gap code. De Jong has to head that down. He does. He finds Gutierrez. And he finds the back of the net. We're right back in it. It's PS3. Free. Excalor. Free. And Gutierrez. Equalises for us, and, and I thought we had to make that count there. The numbers we had going forward, surely we need to score this. And we got a bit lucky, you know, to score with the second attempt. Should have did better with the first attempt, but Gutierrez, I mean, the first touch is brilliant. You can see <laughs> Gapco jumps over the shot. Everything about that was fantastic, and we're back on level terms. We can do this, guys. Come on. No, oh, we're through again. He's put it wide. I don't believe that. I don't believe that Benitez was beat. Benitez was probably expecting to go and pick the ball at the back of his net there, but Excalor put it wide. Good challenge comes in from Ospipo, but the referee said it was a foul. Plays on. It's going to go through. Benitez comes and collects that. And Gapco now loses it. Man, we can't afford to do that. Cannot afford to lose the ball at the back, and we could be in trouble. There's a counter-attack on here. Can we prevent this ball from coming into the box we do at the expense of a corner so it'll be a chance we need to defend this got everybody in position balls coming in it's oh it's headed back out again it's probably going to be another corner it is so yeah well, straight back to defending here defending duties are not over it looks like junior's picked up an injury which is not ideal that's another challenge for gutierrez but the throw in has been given to x -Glor. so again they've still got options Oh no, it's 4-3, I knew it, we were just, oh man, we were cut to open at the back, just not enough bodies there, I mean, having one less man is a big deal, but when you've got two less men, you know, it's pretty impossible, and that's the situation we find ourselves in at the moment, so we trail again, it's 4-3, <laughs> we don't look too happy, I can guarantee you or not, it's another way back for us in this game, De Jong, Max, Fearman, still pushing here for an equaliser, it's good to hear this. Back to Fear. oh, Fearman has not been able to go on the end of that, he slides in, trying to give away a foul, hasn't happened, and now we are in trouble, ball played through to Van Duin. Tessie's going to try and come across, put a challenge and he hasn't been able to make it there, and now we are in real danger. So, oh, it's a good challenge for Tessie though, right, here we go, can we counter? Good to hear this. to Gapco, Gapco. Finds De Jong, De Jong, out to Gutierrez. I don't think players want to get forward, but they need to. Right, Junior, he's injured, but he's getting forward here. He's going for it. He's going to try and pick it someday, hopefully. He just runs, keeps on running. Crosses it in. Gap goes there. He goes for the header, and it's been taken away from him at the last second. No challenge, right? Tessie he needs to get forward again. This time he's committed a foul. Referee is going to blow the whistle, and Tessie's going to get a yellow card. And rightfully so, to be fair. I think a couple of substitutions, just getting the fresh legs on. As we try and push, try and find an equaliser. 
It's ball sent towards Benitez. That's caught. Benitez then short pass throw even to his beast ball rolls it out. Now it's El Ghazi. El Ghazi to De Jong. De Jong to Gapko. Gapko now spins around. It's Gapko. Finds De Jong. De Jong into the path of Fearman. And Fearman gets us back on level terms with five minutes to go. What a game this is. Eight goal thriller here at the Phillips Stadion. It's not exactly what we want. We would rather be winning 8-0. But if things stay the way they are at the moment, we will take a share of the points. And when you've got nine men, I mean, that almost feels like a victory. We're going to bring on... I know we just scored, but we're going to take Fearman off. And we're going to bring on Van Ginkle as we... I don't know. What are we looking to do here? Are we trying... To find a winner, or are we trying to hold on to a point? Honestly, at this stage, I'm not too sure. Uh, I guess we'll find it in the next five minutes. This is dangerous! Very dangerous! Oh, we've won it! We've won the ball eight, two minutes ahead on time. Is there a chance for a counter here? De Jong is through. He's not got the legs, though. That's the problem. De Jong's through, but he's got no legs. He's kind of out in no man's land. He finds up oh, <laughs> Gabco. Now Gapko's going to have to try and do something here. How much legs has he got left? Not a lot by the looks of things. He's running though. He's got himself in a good position. He's tried to play it, man. Maybe he should have took a shot there. Was that a mistake? It might be. With hindsight, it probably is. Referee blows full-time whistle. I mean, we've got a point out of this game. We were behind multiple times. Pretty sure we were down like three times in this game. We were behind... But we got the point in the end, you know, it was probably a points of fair result. If you take into consideration, though, we played with nine men, I think if we kept 11 on the pitch, we'd have absolutely destroyed this team. That's my opinion, I totally believe that. But we couldn't, we got hot-headed, we've seen red, we've seen it twice, in fact. And that is why we only take away a point from today's game. Alright, so after three games, the league table looks slightly better. We're no longer in 18th. Unfortunately, we're still in the bottom half, though, just about in 10th. It's not where we want to be, but it's a hell of a lot better than last place. And we've got a chance now against Utrecht to hopefully win and maybe go as high as possibly third. I doubt that will be the case, so depending on other teams' results. But a win here, you know, we should go into the top half of the table and then it would make us unbeaten and free. So baby steps, Utrecht up next. Let's go. Alright, here we go then, match day four of the Ever Divisi. We're coming up against a decent side in FC Utrecht. The last time we come up against a decent side, we lost. We lost badly. We lost 3-0 at home in the opening game. So hopefully we can put that right here today. Beat FC Utrecht. And with that, probably move up to potentially top six. I think we'd be top six if we win. Um, away from home, I, I, normally a draw probably would be a good result here. But the fact that... We've only won one game and we're opening three. Uh, I feel like there's pressure on us to go out and, and get three points in this. So, I mean, it's early days. It's still early in the season. But I don't want to fall that far behind the leaders. So, a win here would be huge. We seem to be doing away, uh, well away from home, though. I mean, I know we've only played one game, but we won it. And even though it was only a 3-2 win, I thought we were pretty convincing in that game. So, I'm hoping we can have more of the same today. Then you can see the FC Utrecht team. Look, a familiar face in there. Felt uh, Facilios Barcas, who is on loan from Celtic. Unfortunately for us, though, he isn't playing. <laughs> so, I mean, that would have gifted us a few easy goals, but they went with Di Chiesor in instead. So we're going to have to work for our, our uh, victory today. As for us, we went with Benitez, Muen, Tessa, Obispo, Max, Gutierrez, Simmons, Fearman, and a front three of Gapko, De Jong, and Maduk. We've got some injuries, some suspensions, so we had to mess around a little with the team. Not too much, though. Pretty close to our strongest 11, and hopefully they can go out and get us a W. Oh, what a turn for De Jong. Short rebounds. He gets second chance. Lucky his second short rebounds off the keeper. And De Jong there. Two good opportunities. What a turn they done as well, man. Great chance for us to take lead early in this game, but denied by two blocks. Utrecht made a... Oh, good interception for your baseball. Still a baseball chasing this one down. Still a baseball slides in. Doesn't get it, though. Puts us in a bit of trouble, and the goalkeeper, Benitez, literally just moves out the way and puts in the welcome mat to Utrecht and goes, Yo, mate, take a shot, have a goal. And the Utrecht player has helped himself. It's Torn Strada 
with the goal. There's a former Wolfsburg striker Dost in there as well. Poor defending fellas and uh, the goalkeeper. Does he get? I think he might help it on the way through there. I think he gets a touch on it. Regardless, it's really he does. That's shocking goalkeeping. You'd expect better for Benitez, especially someone rated 80, but not on that occasion. Looks like Benitez is an FC Utrecht fan. I was making funny how bad Barkas is, but holy shit, even Barkas would have saved that. 1-0 down here, not a great start. We were the better team, but that doesn't mean shit when you concede the first goal. Gapko to De Jong. De Jong finds Gutierrez. Gutierrez launches the ball over. De Jong contests it, doesn't want it though. Fearman tried to find... I uh, don't know who we try trying to find there, Ugh, and the referee played advantage, didn't really work out for us, but Memwa with the interception, out to Simmons, flicks into the path of Maduke, chance here, edge of the box, what puts a good ball in, but no one, no one gets on the end of it. Made again, crosses it in, it's a great cross, Benitez comes, gets both hands wrapped round the ball though, saves us, and thankfully still only one goal down, Muen. Plays inside to Simmons. Simmons up to De Jong. De Jong to Gutierrez. Good play here from PSV. But what was that? Two players getting into each other's way. And we can see the throw in, man. That's ridiculous. Great ball. Gapko brings it down well. Still Gapko. Sees Max on the overlap. Now it's Max. Philip Max plays it in to Simmons. He flicks it to Madueka. Madueka's trying to get on the end here. He gets a header. And it's saved by the goalkeeper. We will win a corner, but... I mean, Medeka fought for that big time. Managed to get on the end of Gapco with a really bad delivery there that we're going to be fortunate to keep in. It's Gutierrez, and he's going to give it back to Gapco for another chance here. Can Gapco get a better delivery in this time? Back post to De Jong. A slightly overhit again. De Jong lays it off to Fearman. Fearman. Ah, oh, Fearman's lost it there. What's he doing? And that could do it. That's a... Fucking good pass, we haven't seen it. Well, we did see it, it was just unfortunately it was too late by the time we seen it. UFC Utrecht, uh, I keep I keep going to call them UFC. Instead of <laughs> FC Utrecht, I keep going to call them UFC. Maybe I will call them UFC, because they're battering us at the moment. 2-0, just for half time. It's not looking good for PSV. You can see the strike here again. I mean, that defending, utterly atrocious. And you kind of give someone space like that and expect them not to score. So, Naaki with a goal and we're trailing half time it's been a pretty close game but close doesn't matter man because in terms of scoreline they are 2 now up so big big second half for us here if we're going to find a way back into this game so we've made a change going into the second half I have took Gutierrez off just I wanted to put 2 up front so we've brought on Fertesen he's going to play on the left hand side and we're going to send Gapko up front with De Jong to see if that helps see how those two combine so Going for something different here. I felt like I had to change something if we're going to get a result in this game. So that is what we've done. That's not a good pass for Simmons. The pass will need to change if we're going to get a result as well. Because some of that passing has been really mediocre. Good defending for Obispo though. Out muscles his man. Wins it. And now... Oh, Simmons loses it again. We will get lucky when we win. But Simmons needs to stop giving the ball away. Fertesen to De Jong. De Jong just doesn't have the pace really to run onto that. I wish he did. But he clearly does not. It's Max... Max to Fertesen. Fertesen spins around. Fertesen finds Gapko. Gapko, nice wee turn away from his man. Still got the ball. Gapko to Fertesen. Fertesen to Simmons. Simmons to Medeke. Medeke, I think, will win us a corner, and he does. So, chance here with the corner. It's going to be Gapko to take it. Can we get a good delivery? It needs to be a good delivery. It's looking to war. It's over everybody. It's going to be Simmons. Simmons to Abispo. The baseball to Fearman. Edge of the box. Ah, oh, Fearman's shot was looking good. And this looks good, though, because the referee points to the spot. And it should be a penalty, unless he changes his mind, which I really hope he doesn't. We'll see the replay here. Oh, man, it looks like it hits him in the chin. I think he should, rightfully so, I think he's annoyed there. But I won't care. I tell you what, we're going to let De Jong take this. And if De Jong scores, then I'm all for that penalty decision. Going to be De Jong... Oh no, it's been saved. Sums up our luck. Good save by the goalkeeper. They probably deserve that though because it wasn't a penalty. Gapko, another ball in. Oh, it's over everybody. And again, we just cannot seem to get a good... Well, I say we can't get a chance. We just had a penalty there. But you know what I mean? We can't put the ball in the back of the net. Mawen has to chase back against Yunes. 
Yunus holds it up. This is dangerous. It's a deflected shot off the post. Slow mo there, and I did panic, but thankfully we got a block on it. It's Gapco. Oh, that's brilliant. De Jong trying to find Gapco, and that, that, he's just been held back there. Defence doing its job. Gapco trying to get on that, but oh, keeper did a wee roulette spin. Simmons to Medeke. Surely. Puts it wide. I mean, how's he done that? Great chance. Opens up his body. I thought it was going to finesse into the top bins, but instead he puts it wide. Very disappointing. Probably needed that to go in as well. Not long left. I mean, still, oh, 28 minutes, but if you want to win the game, it's going to be hard to get three goals now. Burst of pace. It's good stuff, but we've got a block on that. And the referee, though. Ah, oh, man, are you shitting me? The referee's seen a penalty there. I mean, what the fuck's he watching? Seriously. He's gave it against Mwenwe. Ah, oh, I mean, it hits his hand, but... Ah, it's a joke. It's Dost against Benitez. Oh, and Benitez makes a save. I don't know if we're going to get anything out of this, but... I mean, that gives us a chance, right? We're going to bring El Ghazi on for De Jong. Just, I don't think De Jong's had it today. It's just not really delivered. I know it's controversial, 2 0 it. And the ref just pointed to the spot again. This time he's gave a penalty against this prick. I can't believe that. It's Philippe Max... Concedes the penalty. It hits his head. Then his shoulder. Then his arm. I mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's going to be Dost again. Oh. We went the right way again. But Dost manages to score it. 3-0. It's the way back. I don't think so after that. So unfortunate there. I mean. I got a pen another penalty. Two penalties. Like in the space of two minutes. For handballs. Like what a fucking joke that is. Gapco then runs past uh, Damaro. Can't get across him. Gets tackled. Could be three. It's already three. It could be four. And it will be after that tackle. It's another penalty. See there, Max. I mean, that one is a penalty. I can't. No complaints. Uh, Dost is going off. Thank fuck for that. It's going to be Dufukes against Benitez. And this time we save another one. We've can, we've had three penalties in this game, but we've had to face. We've actually guessed the right way in all three. Unfortunately, one did sneak in. It's a ball whipped into the box, it's headed away. Surprised the ref didn't give another penalty there. But here we go then. Can we do something with this? It's going to be Simmons. Simmons to Maduke. This is a chance here to pull one back at least. Maduke scores it. It's 3 1. Is there any hope? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And look at that. He's through. It's all. Oh, it's. How fortunate can you get, man? He, honestly, he goes to play the guy through. I get the block, and then the block goes straight back to him. And he, he scores. I mean, we'll see it again here. He tries to slot his teammate through. We get the block on it. And then he just, it, it literally goes straight back to him, man. And he, he strikes it past Benitez. Ah, just when you fought with a way back into this game. They slammed the door shut in our faces. And, yeah, we're going to lose this one today. Four goals to one. <laughs> Not exactly... What we wanted, we did have a two-game unbeaten run there, but it has come to an end because we, we ain't getting anything out of this. There's just no way. Fearman to Simmons, back to Fearman. Fearman takes in his stride, takes a shot, and El Gassi gets bundled down, but the referee doesn't give a penalty. In fairness, it wasn't. Just frustrated, really, asking for one. Considering they've had three, I thought I deserved another one, but it's not going to happen. Celia spins around, holding on to the ball now. Oh, they're playing some nice wee stuff between them. There's not a lot we can do. Could be 5-1, surely. Come on, don't let them score another goal. Simmons gives it away. Surprised we haven't had a man sent off in this game, to be fair. It's another good challenge for a beast bow. At least we've kept our disciplinary record intact here, but uh, the clean sheet, not so much. Right, El Ghazi. Can we get one back to try and make this a little bit more respectable? Ball it to Maduke. Oh, he takes it in his stride. That's good stuff, but he overruns it, man. That should be a goal. 100% that should be a goal. Just too much pace there. He's actually been penalised for being too quick. That ball's been launched. Finds Maida. Maida's through. Maida's... That's going to do it. We've just conceded a corner kick. For what? I don't really know. To give them one last chance. To add insult to injury. They're taking it short. They're not even interested in another goal. They feel sorry for us. We're waving the white flag here. Finally, the referee puts us out of misery. It's finished 4-1. A pretty even game, but the, the penalties paid off. Our defensive disabilities, let's say, paid off. 
and it all paid off for FC Utrecht. So, I mean, even game, but even games don't necessarily turn it to be draws, and this one wasn't a draw. It's finished FC Utrecht 4, PSV 1. I was hoping we could go top 6 with a win. With that defeat, we might even go bottom 6. We'll have to wait and see what the other results are. But that is a bad defeat for us, man. The opening day was bad, and that is not much better. So let's look at the standings. I'm afraid to kind of look. I think we can see that we are 12, so we're not quite bottom 6, but we're just outside it. So, uh, yeah, not, not great at all. Definitely not. The only constant, I mean, it's not a constellation, but the two teams that we have lost to are good sides. You know, we've lost to AC and Altman, we've lost to FC Utrecht. Both of them are inside the top three. Obviously, Altman's top, four wins out of four. Scored 13, only conceded two. FC Utrecht are doing well. They're level with Ajax. So, it's not like we're losing to everybody. We're just losing to the good sides, unfortunately for us. To be competitive, to win this title, we're going to need to beat good sides. We haven't done that. Speaking of good sides... We play a good side next. We're taking on Feyenoord at the Phillips Stadion. So I think we have to win that. Only got one win up till now. I think we need to take that game to Feyenoord. And then I believe after that we will have the taste of Europa League action. I will double check that just to confirm. But I think it is Feyenoord. And then after Feyenoord I believe we play Arsenal. It could be... No, I'm... Oh, fucking hell. It's Feyenoord and Ajax. So that's going to be insane. Feyenoord and Ajax, what a double that'll be. Then it's Arsenal. Jesus Christ. These games don't get any easier. And <laughs> if, if, if we've lost against FC Utrecht and we've lost against AC Alkmaar, we're coming up, like, the next three teams we're coming up against are better than those teams. So, Jesus, if we can't beat, if we can't beat those good teams, then what are we going to do when we come up against teams that are a lot better than them and our next three opponents, Arsenal, Ajax, Feyenoord? We're going to need to pull the finger out. We're going to need to improve. Hopefully we will do that, guys. Anyway, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscription. I'll be back in the next one. Hopefully we get some better results. Hopefully we move up the league table and, uh, yeah, get some players back for suspension, get some players back from injury, and uh, we'll give it another go, guys. That's it for the PSV career mode. Peace out.